20 seconds to play. 20 seconds. Duxie Walsh with the blue and gold from Kilkenny is serving in the final of uh, international handball for the millennium and against John Bike from California. Play ball, zero, zero. And the referee for the final is Rick Christian, also from California, one of the visiting players who came over for this millennium tournament. And this final is the third meeting of these two players, John Bike and Duxie Walsh, as John zero Bike goes into serve zero. now. Much more powerful player, John Bike will be 23 next week, playing against 22-year-old Duxie Walsh. Beautiful left-handed kill shot from the Kitto John Bike. He gets back into serve. Zero. Right zero. from the back of the court, he hit that one. John Bike putting that onto the floor, so zero, still no score. Zero. Most game being played onto the ceiling of course that's allowed in 40 by 20 handball the ceiling acts as a four, fifth wall in fact then John Bike puts it away on the right hand side down on the wall bringing the Together rally to at zero. One, zero. and the first score goes to John Bike Bike misses that he rushed in too quickly, hit the floor long before it got near the front wall. So Zero, Duxie Walsh one. gets back into serve again. Walsh draws level but very quickly then John Bike gets him out. Bike now coming back into serve. One play one. And of course only the server can score as John Bike does now to go ahead. Two one. One two. Great kill shot by Duxie Walsh. Changing the service again. Now Walsh lobbing that onto the bottom of the front wall. He knew John Bike was way out behind him. And he just lobbed it. Two play two. Making sure it didn't come off the front wall strongly enough for Bike to get to it. So they draw level. to hinder it hit John Bike on the back so they'll play it again two play two the concentration on the face of John Bike native of Connecticut the western seaboard in the United States now living though on the opposite side in California Duxie Walsh now takes the lead. John Bike putting that on the floor.
John Vike putting the next well, that one on the floor as well. So Duxie Walsh goes double scores, four to two. It's the third time these players have met. They met four, in December two. 83 in the under 17 semi finals of the American Juvenile Championships. John Vike won that one 12 21, 21 17, and 11 to 9. And then Duxie Walsh, who's coming in to serve now, had his revenge two years later in 85 in the quarterfinals of the Under-19 Championship in America. That was in Fountain Valley in Southern California. And Duxie won that 11-3 in the tie-breaking third game. Now here they are for the third time, so he'll break the rubber. <laughs> Duxie Walsh with his favourite shot into the right-hand corner. 6-2. He goes four ahead. Remember, he had such a dramatic semi-final win over Danny Bell, the Canadian Championship, winning by one ace in the tiebreaker after they were level at the end of 20 minutes. This final, of course, is over 30 minutes, and John Bike in the white T-shirt there is Seven absolutely disgusted two. with himself. Remember, he's ranked number two in the American professional circuit. Nice cross court off the left wall onto the front wall by Bike, and he gets into serve now. So, can he come Two back? Play seven. This final over 30 minutes, semi finals and quarter finals were over 20. That spins up off the toe of Duxy Walsh. So, Bike goes to three. Three play seven. Pressure is on all the time in a game played on a time basis. Magnificent left-handed kill by Bike. That's his stronger hand, although his right is not too weak. Four, play seven. Now he's pulling back. Just two Five, between them now, as John seven. Bike said when I talked to him before this final, when himself and Duxie played in 83 and 85, there were two of the more Hinderball. promising players in their countries. Now, in fact, they're Replay. the top players in their country. John Five, Bike, seven. just the number two, and Duxie Walsh, the champion, double champion here in Ireland. Six plays, seven. Great passing shot by Bike, and he draws level now. Seven each. Together at seven. And they're coming up to eight minutes. Seven, seven. Bad bounce. The bad bounce. Again. The referee Rick Christian calls a John Bike pointed to the way the ball seven, came off the glass wall. Seven. Where the glass panels are joined. A bad bounce. So the player's given every chance and that point is played over again. It upset John Bike though because he's put that onto the floor. Eight, seven. So Duxie goes ahead again. Bike using the walls. He's getting into a commanding position now and he cars that onto the glass panel put there in the front Seven, wall for our cameras eight. watch forcing bike back to the back of the court but John gets it and then Juxie puts it away and he earns the applause from his opponent sporting opponent John bike here playing in eight, the Dublin Millennium Seven. Tournament The service changing very quickly. Seven, play eight. Eight, play seven.
the sidearm action of John Bike then almost Seven pushing the ball onto the eight. front wall and killing it in the corner. John Bike tries for that but then shouts, no, he didn't get it. No mean advantage eight, taken seven. by the players in this handball final. Nine, seven. So Walsh goes to nine. Good passing shot by John Bike. Juxy Walsh tried to bang it off the back wall to reach the front wall, but he skidded into Seven the back wall and doesn't, nine. so he loses his service now. Great kill shot, and then it passes John Bike. It skids away from him as he threw himself across the court. Nine so Walsh back in Seven. to serve quickly now. But left hand kill from. Gypsy Wall is so effective. Ten, play seven. Walsh was in there, but just couldn't get his hand properly under that to get it up. So now go. a change of service seven, again. Seven, play ten. Look how low John Bright gets as he hops the ball, preparing for the serve. Very strong shot, but Walsh is right in there in a commanding position to get to it. And Bike again, powering it away with the left hand, and he wants to get into position quickly Nine to serve again. Play ten. The passing shot, Duxy doesn't get it on the wall, so John Bike has drawn level. Together ten each. at ten. And Twelve and a half minutes gone. John Bike goes one ahead. Eleven, ten. Who's <laughs> John Bike? The pain of that, he didn't like Ten, it as it 11. hit the floor. <laughs> Dixie Walsh can't get across to that, or he gets across to it, but he can't get it up. Eleven can't play. swing Ten. to get power behind it, so he loses his service. John Bike knows even before the Ten, referee calls play, it that 11. he didn't get that. <laughs> Walsh killing that with the left hand, showing that his left is just as good as John Bike's. And he draws level. 11, play 11.
It's a great passing shot by John Bike after that long rally where they played cat and mouse on Together the ceiling with the ceiling 11. shots, and we're halfway through this 30 minute final. Eleven, eleven. Juxy Walsh putting that one into his favourite right corner as he takes the lead. 14 minutes, 20 seconds to play. 12, play 11. Referee Rick Christian tells him that they've got 14 minutes and 20 seconds to play. That's skidded along the back wall 11, for Juxy Walsh. 12. He's talking to himself, annoyed with himself in there. Because he couldn't get it off the back wall. Replay. The referee calls for a replay. Bad a bad bounce, bounce as the 11, ball came off the glass door in the back left-hand corner. <laughs> 40 by 20 handball devised in America with the ceiling as a fifth wall, but Duxie Wall showing that he's just as effective with that ceiling shot, which was perfected in America as any of the Americans. And of course, for the past four years, minutes, he's practically unbeatable here in play. Ireland. He missed the 87, 40 by 20 singles title, possibly only because he had to give a walk over in the semi-final. Can Duxie get across to this one? He does, and uses the ceiling again to drive John Bike back. Right hand side of the court left open. John Bike making sure. 11. Right at the bottom 12. of the front wall and rolling it out along the floor. Duxie Walsh puts that into the floor. Together so they draw at level 12. at 12. <laughs> Watch getting a good left handed kill, and he gets back to service again. 12 play 12. Walsh making a mess of 12, that. 12 play so 12. So John is back in again. Great kill right across, diagonally across the court, from the left back corner to the right front corner 12, by Duxie Walsh. 12. That came off the bottom of the glass wall well for Duxie Walsh. He's a little bit lucky. Now he has to rush back and he gets it well. He's in there. Is he, is he in hindered? Again. Yes, Rick Christian says he's hindered. Duxie couldn't get to it. John Bike in the way, even though John Together jumped out of the way or tried 12. to. So it's served over again. They're locked at 12 apiece. We're coming up to the 19th minute. Duxie Walsh takes the lead. 13 to 12, and Duxie must be a strong contender for the American 12. under 23 title in Chicago next June when the national championships are held. And he tells me that he intends traveling over there for that. He's already won the Grand Slam of the juvenile titles under 15, under 17, and 19. So why not have a go for the under 23? Ten minutes. 20 seconds to play. And since John Bike is play, 13. just coming up to his 23rd birthday, he'll hardly have John to contend with. Now John draws Together level again. At 13.
John Bike moves ahead. We've got 10 minutes left in the final of the 14, Millennium International Wayne, Tournament. 13. This, is this where John Vike pulls ahead? Dipsy Walsh must be careful. This is a very crucial stage 15, of the final. 13. Needs all the concentration he's got. Oh, John Vike makes a very bad error. A mistake putting 13, that into the floor. 15. Back wall 15, well for Duxie White should bike to serve again. <laughs> Sliding down the back wall, Duxie couldn't get his 16, swing in behind it. 13. Slide ball replay. Referee Rick Christian says it's a slide ball. The ball slid away. 13. John Pike doesn't think so. He thinks it was a good serve. But the referee plays it again. Still 16 13. John Pike in the lead. Duxie Walsh powering it onto the bottom of the front wall and it comes flat out across the floor so he gets the service. 16. Walsh needs aces quickly now and that was a good lob. He lobbed it, he took the chance and John Bike rushed in but he couldn't get there because it hopped up badly from the bottom of the side wall. 14. 16. Two between them now. Now just one separating them. Seven that went off to the play. tops of the fingers of John Bike. Play 16. Just seven minutes left now in this final. As John Bike takes over the service again. 16. Play 15. Fly shot by Bike. 15. Put away on the left hand side by John. He pulls ahead again 15. by three. Six minutes to go, and Duxy Walsh is four behind. Is 30 minutes too long a duration for him? We'll see now in the less than six minutes left. He's four behind as he takes over the service. So the clock has been stopped. The clock has been stopped. The At floor has got wet, so they've called seconds. in for the floor to be Score wiped. And of course, it gets 19. dangerous when it's uh, wet. The players can slide across it if the floor gets wet. Tell you later. 
And there's the Millennium Trophy on the left that they're playing for. The runner-up will get the trophy on the right. Waterford Crystal, magnificent piece of Waterford Crystal for the winner and runner-up. The floor being dried where the drops of perspiration has fallen off them in the last 24 minutes. And of course, it can get very dangerous. They can skid and slide on those wet spots. So they're taking the opportunity to clean the glass as well because the ball can slide and skid down the glass when it gets wet too. The floor being cleaned, the drops of perspiration in the heat of the two players in there. Sweating profusely they are in this intense game. So the audience enjoying this battle between John Bike and Michael Duxie Watch. So ready to resume with Michael Duxy Walsh serving. Remember, he's four behind. Who will have benefited by that break? Compose themselves maybe in those few seconds. Obviously, the break didn't do John Bike any harm. 19 15. And then it didn't do much harm to Duxie Walsh either so he gets back in the service takes the service away 15, from John Bike without 19. John making an ace on that hand and that skips away and John Bike knows it doesn't skip onto 16, the front wall 19. three between them John Bike signals that he didn't get it up, so Duxie Walsh gets the 17. Just two between them. Even if Rick Christian, the referee, didn't Four see it, John Bike immediately declares 17, that he didn't make it. 19. John Bike coming across very quickly to Four get that one. It looked minutes. as if Duxie had got a good 19, passing 17. shot, but losing the service now, and Bike resident now of California John Bike shouts again that he didn't make that great sportsmanship no attempt at gamesmanship by these players at all John Bike immediately admitting that he didn't make the shot so the service again to Duxie watch and Duxie puts that away in his very favorite right hand corner Using the walls very well. 18-19. Now he's just one behind. Duxie gets over very quickly to that. John Bike has to rush back to the back wall. The left hand. Duxie can't get it up. Hits the floor, so he loses the service. Three minutes, 19, 18. Duxie is in, Bike throws himself across, but despairing effort, Time and he out. smiles. At least he's a good-hearted player. He's able to enjoy it. Very wet. And the court is very wet, so they want it cleaned again. And dried. At this could be very vital now. Seconds to
great support, of course, in this gallery for Duxie Walsh. Everybody hoping that he would win this, the Irish champion against the visiting Californian. So Duxie Walsh to serve again now, he's one ace behind. Play ball, 18, And the clock play, is started 19. again, just over two and a half minutes. Short ball. Duxie losing his service by serving one short, and that was the 19, lack of concentration. 18. Did that break upset him? Two minutes to go, Duxie Walsh tries to put that away, he has a chance, this time he does! The first one came up too high off the front wall, John Bike got it, but then on the second occasion, Duxie put it away. So he gets back in the service. Good get by John Bike. Can he get back to the back wall quickly enough? He does. Duxy is there onto the ceiling to slow it down. And John Bike then again onto the ceiling. Duxy trying to get into a commanding position, but John Bike powering it onto the floor. That's Duxy's in a commanding position now. Gets it. He had the whole left hand side. Duxy Walsh had the left hand side of the court. And he gets level. Time out. 19 to 19. And John Bike is calling for a referee's timeout to dry the court again. This is obviously tactics by John Bike as the momentum goes against him. There are no timeouts allowed in a time in a game played over a time basis, but John Bike tactically calling for the referee to allow for a time break for the court to be dried because it does get dangerous if the court gets wet from the sweat that's dripping off their bodies. But it's level now at 19 each. And just one minute to go, remember, Duxy Walsh had that dramatic comeback in his semi-final with Danny Bell when he was six aces behind, he came back to win a tiebreaker after the finish level 15 each. One minute to play. John Bike indicating to the crowd that he's shaking with nerves, but of course he's laughing as he does it. A cheerful and welcome visitor is John Bike to Ireland for the first time. Former American singles and doubles universities champion when he was at school in the University of Texas. The crowd loving every second of this great final. The two players just walking around the court so that they won't get cold, keeping themselves warm. John Bike, who's ranked number two on the US professional circuit. Bike, of course, also plays three-wall handball in America, and in fact, he won the USHA National Three-Wall Doubles Championship in Toledo last August. He also won the Canadian Three-Wall Singles in 1987. And they're playing for that magnificent Waterford Crystal. crowd pent up with excitement as they cheer on Duxie Walls, their favourite and the Irish champion against John Bike. Together at 19. Together at 19. Play ball. Now one minute left as Duxie restarts with the service. Screen, oh, excuse me. The ball slid on the floor. The Replay. ball slid on the floor, says the referee, Rick Christian, and that's what happens when it's wet. The ball would skid. It must bounce properly to give the players every opportunity, a fair chance. Now 
off the back wall. Can Walsh put this away? He does, yes, he goes ahead. Duxley Walsh is one ahead with half a minute to go. 30 seconds. Now, can Duxley hold on and not lose the service? Even if he doesn't score, all he has to do is play the ball around the walls to kill time. And that's it, he goes two ahead. Duxley Walsh is the winner of the Dublin Millennium International Handball. John Bike concedes. John Bike knows that he doesn't have the time with 10 seconds left. And John Bike, magnificent sportsman that he is, losing there to Duxley Walsh and the crowd giving Duxley a standing ovation. The Irish champion beating the number two professional in the United States by 21-19 after a most dramatic comeback in the semi-final when he came from being almost dead, as it were, against Danny Bell. He came back to win a tiebreaker and now winning this so narrowly. Duxley Walsh of Kilkenny, the Irish champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after that magnificent final, the presentation of trophies, first the runner-up trophy to John Bike to be presented by Pather McKenna, the head of marketing services in the Bank of Ireland. And the winner's trophy to Duxy Walsh of Kilkenny. And as you can see, Duxy really doesn't want it. He's given it away to Michael Tyrrell, the president of the Irish Handball Council. Duxy, you're determined to give all your fans heart attacks after that dramatic semi-final and that magnificent final. Uh, yeah, it was a good comeback. John was hitting the ball very hard. and He missed probably one or two easy ones. I tossed myself out at 18, I think. And I thought at that stage it was gone. Because it was Did you lose your concentration that time? No, I probably rushed it because I was one behind. and. I wanted to get just one easy one and I was going to try to kill it. But and yet you were saying beforehand that you thought the 30 minutes would be uh, favourable to you? Well, I'd say it was, but if I can remember rightly, I, after, after, after 20 minutes I was one ahead. <laughs> yeah, you would have liked to stop at that stage? Yeah, I would have loved it. What about the, 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 the wetness on the court from the perspiration? Was it difficult? Well, that, that was sweat off. Uh, both both were sweating. It's very warm. But, um, and he's, uh, and he's good balls that were called, that, like the ref called them and they were replayed, so it made no difference. So it was fair to both of you. It just shows you the intensity of the final, John, that you were sweating so much there. Incredible match. One of my top, one of my top matches ever, I'd say. Just, I'm just drained. And, and again, as we said to you before the final, you, in fact, are not used. You've never played this time basis handball until you came here to Ireland. I think I'm going to start. Yeah, it's you a think kick. you like it? It's a kick. I'd like winning it more, but it's a good game. Do you think you might suggest it to Alvarado when you go back to the States for the next pro tour? It won't happen on the tour, but I'll be playing practice. I'll be talking people into it. It's just one way to get psyched up and toughen up. At any stage, did you think when you had pulled away there a few aces that you, you had him? Never. I've put, you know, either one of us, three or four points is nothing. I had the lead of four. He must have held my serve six times. Good serves on the right, popped him right up. How can I think I'm going to, it's in the bag. You made a few untypical errors putting the ball into the floor about two or three yards out. Well, uh, unfortunately, the past few months, those have been pretty typical for me. Really? I'm having a bit of a hard time. I've played 
satisfied with my play today. It's about as well. So what's happening to your game that this is uh, happening to you in the last few months? I don't know. I, I took a month off. You know, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I played well. I'm missing more easy ones than I'd like to, but I also make tough ones. Balances out. Do you think you're missing the university life because you were the university's champion when you were in the University of Texas? I just like a little more laid back, a little bit in the real world now. Just enjoy things a little more. Okay, John, it's been great having you here. Duxley, what's next now? The American Under-23 Championship next June? Well, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> You'll go for that? Yeah, I'd like to play in one of the tours. On one the professional one. tours? Well, that would be exciting to have an Irish man playing it. Uh, I'd like to play in one of them. So okay, hopefully. well, we, we hope that you do well if you get there. Duxley Walsh and John Bike. <laughs>